everyone, it's Liam with Lovely Scrappin. I'm here with um, a video that I've done. It's a project to enter into Rebecca's very first um, contest. And her YouTube channel is crafts.cupcake and I'll be sure to post a link at the bottom. You'll have to excuse my voice, I'm sorry, I, I've caught a cold <laughs> and I'm a little bit plugged up so I sound different. <laughs> so um, just bear with me if you hear some sniffling. Um, so anyway, so in this project, the requirement was to use um, one thing recycled, and it could be anything recycled, and the project could be anything. So uh, what I've decided to do was uh, make a vintage tag mini album, kind of going along with the Mariposa um, paper from DCWV, and I've used numerous recycled items um, on this project so far. And I plan to continue to use recycled items because I, I I love to recycle and I've always loved to put recycling items in my project. So I love this contest, Rebecca. I'm so happy that you have um, thrown this contest for people to enter. So here is my project. I hope you guys like it. So again, this is going to be um, a tag mini album. The recycled, I haven't finished it because I am planning, because it's going to take too long and I needed to get this in. So I finished the very first tag and I'll show and explain that to you now. And then I will, so, so this will be part one and then I will have um, four more parts to this series on uh, me, the process building this album. So I know I had a few requests of me actually doing a tutorial on me creating an album. So I thought this would be a good chance to do that too. So there will be, again, four more episodes to this series, and each episode will be me completing a tag. And it'll just be sort of a start to finish on each of these tags, and just like I have done with this one. So the recycled item I have used, the main one, um, is are the tags. So each of these tags are actually plastic bags. They're grocery bags that I recycled, and I used Laura... Um, she's following the paper trail YouTube channel and she did a tutorial on how to use plastic bags um, and you know you iron you cut them and iron them out in between parchment paper or wax paper and they melt um, to get this really cool textured look and then you buff it up with acrylic paint and so I after this little clip I'll do um, I did a quick clip of me explaining it but I didn't do a tutorial because there already is one out there so I will post her YouTube channel again um, down in the description box below as well as the link to her video and it's great I found it a long time ago and I just love it so I decided you know what what a great way to do um, a tag uh, mini album using the plastic bags. Um, I have also used for this tag, and I'll explain later on in the clip, um, this is text from a magazine, just a recycled magazine I had, and I did a transfer onto packing tape, clear packing tape, and um, and I'll I explain again how I did that. But anyway, so I used the transfer, and then it's on packing tape, so then it melts because it's plastic onto the the plastic bag when I iron it. So I kind of came up with that technique. I don't know if anyone else has done it, but I had fun playing with that. And then I again buffed it up with acrylic paint. So, and I just um, made these tag shapes myself and then just uh, added the eyelets. So let's get to the very first one. So what I've done is I have just put a cherish embellishment from Making Memories, um, a Martha Stewart punch um, that I borrowed from Joanne. Thank you, Joanne. And um, inked it up. I put a, I actually alcohol inked this um, butterfly and put it in the center along with some bling. And I do have some clips that I've attached to this video if you're interested in watching me put this tag together. So it shows the process. This is an I Am Roses Puffy Daisy that I glimmer misted um, with some homemade glimmer mists. And then I put some lace um, trim in the center along with a little I Am Roses rose. And then this is the Tim Holtz um, caged bird die. And I did the crackle technique. This isn't in the video. Unfortunately, I, I wasn't gonna do a video at first, so I didn't have any clips of me making the um, tags or this um, bird cage. Um, but then I decided after I would do some, I had a little extra time, so I thought I would throw in some extra clips. So, um, but this is just the crackle technique using crackle medium from folk art and acrylic paint to get this really cool, let's see if I can focus, this really cool vintage crackle look. And then after the acrylic paint process, I glimmer misted with some homey glimmer mist. And this is mainly the blue in there, it's, or the bluey green, I should say, is the pine needles um, reinker and perfect pearls. So that's what I did there. 
And I also did the crackle technique to the bird. Mm -hmm. And then I added some fibers for the branch, sort of like a nest that the bird is sitting on. And added eyelets and then made these little bead charms to hang from there using some jump rings. And then added some bling and some pearls along there. This flourish is also from the Tim Holtz Alteration Die Set. It's um, Elegant Flourishes. And I did a separate tutorial, just um, put some of the clips together as a separate tutorial because I really like how um, I did this technique. I kind of came up with it as I was playing around. And I really love the rustic vintage faux metal look that it gave me. So um, watch out for my separate tutorial on how I've done that kind of explains a little bit better. And then the back, the paper in the back is um, uh, just some from the DCWV Mariposa collection that I cut out. Um, and then I made this little bead um, charm that connects the top of the birdcage because I always think a birdcage should be hanging from something, right? Unless it's sitting down on a counter. And this has a little hole for that, so I decided to do a little chain and it actually connects onto the rings, so it's separate from the tag as you can see there and so it will just move with the tag as I flip it over so I'll show you the back side of the tag so this side I put a chipboard frame die that I um, had um, from Sizzix and I layered it with a piece of glossy paper that I had alcohol inked and again I, I do alcohol inking on some beads like these were white um, and then I, I make sure I put glossy paper on the back so I can recycle it and use it again in a project. So I saved the extra excess alcohol ink for this frame. And then this is an Eye and Roses I glimmer misted with some homemade glimmer mist. Sorry, the, it's a bit dark. And then I again glimmer misted and inked, or actually I inked up these two um, Eye and Roses there. This is a spray, a leaf spray I got from Carla's Etsy, Carla001. Um, this bling was just clear bling that I alcohol inked to kind of go with the color, the blue in this in this layout. And then um, Smile was actually, um, I printed up from my computer and punched it with a little punch. Um, sorry guys, my camera ran out of memory so um, I think I picked up um, with the punch. So um, again, this paper here is the DCWV um, paper, design paper from the Mariposa collection. I just punched um, a bigger circles to mat it. Uh, mat the letters. Um, I distressed the letters um, and as well as the blue a little bit. This is a small labels die from the Tim Holtz Alterations die set that I borrowed from Joanne. Thank you so much for loaning me your dies, Joanne. Um, and then this is a Martha Stewart butterfly and I just sort of inked up the blue to make it kind of match more of the blue that's in this layout because it was a little bit brighter. And I inked it up a little bit with walnut distress ink. I think I use Vintage Photo on here um, and Walnut on here. I can't quite remember all of them, but um, it'll show you in the video anyway. And then here is some trim from Frog Feathers. And then this here is the flat back white pearls I had from, got from Carla's Etsy that I just um, alcohol inked the gold and the caramel color. So I think I covered all of that. I think so. So anyways, you guys, that is my project entry. I hope you guys like it. Please leave a comment and give me a thumbs up to help me with my chances of winning. This is my first contest I've entered. I'm a little nervous, um, but I hope that everybody likes it. And I hope you stick with my series that I'm going to put out to finish the rest of the four tags. Thanks everybody for watching. Please continue watching um, to see how I put this together if you're interested. And then some clips, um, some photos at the end of some close-ups of the project. Thanks again for watching everybody. Take care. Bye. Hey everyone. Okay, so here are my tags after I have um, painted them and got them to the color I want. Um, again, so I used plastic bag technique from Laura. I follow the, follow the paper trail and I'll post a link to um, that video down below. And um, what you get is pretty much after your plastic bag is melted, you are just going to get what looks like this. Well, I had trimmed it up nicely to the size I wanted. And then I just made my own um, tag by just snipping the corners and then using the one I snipped first as a template for the remaining five. 
uh, or four tags, sorry. And, um, and then I just did the same technique that Laura shows with the acrylic paint and I just chose the acrylic paint colors I wanted. You squish it in there really good and then you wipe it off with a paper towel and you do it again and again till you get the look that you want and um, with multiple colors. So this is like a brown and maroon kind of a color. Um, and then the back side, one side is always a little more rough and wrinkled and then the other side is usually more smooth. That's what I found when I made these anyway. So anyway, I played with different colors and then I just stuck a big eyelid in there um, for the tag and then they'll all be joined with a big ring, but this is just sort of an idea of what they look like before I decorate them. And I tried to stick with the color theme of the Mariposa Papers by DCWV. This is a nice gold one, I like how that one turned out. And then this one here, I kind of combined two different techniques into one to kind of make my own sort of a really cool... Um, transfer of text from a magazine um, onto packing tape and then melted that onto the plastic bag to get this look and then buffed it up so I know there's just a million videos on um, magazine image transfer onto packing tape to make like a transparency that look like uh, let me just show you a few I did these are just examples just images from a magazine page so for instance this is just one of my nursing magazines. Let's say you wanted this image. You would just snip it out of your magazine. You take just regular packing tape, clear packing tape that you'd, you know, pack up your boxes in. And you take a piece and lay it over the image so it's nice and flat. Take your bone folder, smooth it over nicely. And then um, you're going to trim off any excess tape. And then you're going to soak it in just a bowl of water for about 45 seconds. And then you're just going to... Um, peel off the magazine paper and then what's left is the image a very faint sort of a view of the image that was on the magazine picture that you had snipped out so that's what I did with this um, I did it this is the negative after I peeled off the paper this was sort of this was kind of cool so I kept it a little bit of the text left on the actual magazine page and then the rest went onto the tape that cool and then what I did was because the opposite side is a bit sticky I took another piece of packing tape and put them both sticky side to sticky side so what you have is like this nice laminated sort of a piece of the transparency the transfer so then all I did was I just took the pieces of the script that I got from the magazine took my piece of uh, melted plastic bag that was already done and then all I did was just line them up how I wanted, put them between two pieces of parchment paper. I don't like to use wax because I found the wax paper transferred onto it a little bit and left a bit of a film and also stuck to it quite a bit. And it was just harder to, to separate from the paper. So I use parchment paper. And then just take your hot iron, um, like your clothing iron to iron your clothes. And just on low heat, just uh, melt it on there. So you'll end up getting this. So the transparency will melt right onto the plastic bag. Shows really good results. I really like this technique. I um, had a lot of fun playing with it and um, ended up using a recycled plastic bag, recycled magazine with some packing tape and made it into something really cool, which is this tag here. So guys, that's just sort of a quick tip. If you have any questions, I know I just sort of quickly went through it and I tried to explain it as best as I could, but really all you have to do is just refer to um, Laura's video on how she did, melted her um, plastic bags to get these pages and she painted them too and explained how to do that and then um, just search I don't know I never did save a video and I don't remember where I I don't remember where I, I saw it from but there are lots of videos on how to do magazine transfers onto tape so just search on YouTube and you'll find something um, if I get a lot of requests for people who really want me to show how I did this, I can. Um, just let me know if you're interested. Um, otherwise, yeah, just refer to the videos I mentioned. Um, so I'm going to go on and decorate these. So hang in there, guys, and I'll put together a few more clips of me constructing this mini album. Thanks for watching.